Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial we'll start scripting the logic for the ball. In particular we're going to add a ball serve. So we can get started by creating a ball script. A new C sharp script. I can call it ball script. Okay. So to to interact with the ball, we're going to we're going to need to get the rigid body at least, and probably the transform too. So let's start off just by creating a region here, fields, and we'll end the region. So we want a rigid body, public rigid body 2D, and we can call it ball RB. And we want to get a public transform called ball transform. Okay, we'll create another region here. Uh, mono methods. These are methods like update, start, fixed update on collision, and so these are available since this class derives from mono behavior. And in the start method, let's just get the transform. Now in the last, uh, or in one of the previous tutorials, I showed you a slightly, it was a slightly long-winded way of getting this. We can actually just get it, instead of using get component, we can just use this, dot transform. And let's drag the ball script onto the ball now. And just to go over the other way um, to get a reference, um, we just drag the rigid body directly in. I'm just calling this as references this. So it's any references that are particular to this game object. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to make the, the serve method. So I'll start off We'll just create a region class methods, and as you get more defined uh, areas of, of function, you can split this down even more. Um, you, you can see the effect of the regions here, it basically splits all, so you can collapse and expand them. Now, it's not really a big deal for a script this small, but if you start to get into a very big script, it's really useful to be able to find, you know, narrow down the search area by region. region and and we'll say serves the ball be a public method it doesn't return anything so it's void oh, we'll call it serve ball okay so to do this we're going to need as as in we did with the paddles, we're going to need to apply force to the ball. So we will we call this again. We call it ball RB, ball rigid body, ball RB dot um. It just should be add force. Yeah, it's. I think the f I thought it was 2D. That's actually the force mode. That's 2D. Let's just put in a vector here for now. Zero zero. And we'll say force mode 2D. And I think we'd be better using impulse this time. Okay. Build that. So what we'll do here is we'll just in start we'll say serve ball two. No, I don't think it's going to do anything because we haven't we haven't set the force vector. So let's just hit start. So yeah, it hasn't done anything. Uh, let's just exper experiment with this. So the new vector uh, it takes two. Uh, two parameters. Now this is going to be the x force and this is going to be the y. So let's just say 1 because that'll uh, 
a positive direction will serve in this direction and we'll build that again and see what happens now so it's very slow okay so we are going to need to multiply the uh, we're going to need to multiply the force or actually we could just look at the ball and see we can see that the mass is actually very it's very well it's one we can reduce the mass and see what that does now it'll probably give us a much faster okay so that's it that's, that's the ball serve in a very very basic way and I think I'll wrap up the tutorial this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will look at handling the ball uh, when it goes out of bounds when it passes one of the paddles and we'll, we'll, we'll just build up the, the ball script from there. I'll see you then.